بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سو ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس لاسٹ کلاس میں وی اسٹارٹ دی دا ٹاپک دیٹ از ہاؤ ٹو کیلکولیٹ دی پرسنٹیج آف یو نو آئنک کریکٹر ان اے کوول ان بانڈ یعنی جو کوول ان بانڈ ہمارے پاس ہوتا ہے جس میں ایٹمز دے شیئر دیئر الیکٹرانس اینڈ دیٹ دیٹ شیئرنگ آف الیکٹرانس ریزلٹس ان دا کوول اینڈ بانڈ فار ایگزامپل ایٹمز اے اینڈ بی دس آلسو شیئرس ون الیکٹران دس آلسو شیئرس ون الیکٹران اینڈ دس میوچول شیئرنگ آف الیکٹرانس ریزلٹس ان دا فارمیشن آف اے نیو مالیکیول جس کے بیچ میں جو بانڈ ہوتا ہے دیٹ از اے کوول اینڈ بانڈ ٹھیک پھر ہم نے ابھی تک اس کو کنٹینیو ڈسکس کیا ہے کہ بانڈس آر نیور ہنڈریڈ پرسینٹ کوولنٹ انلیس اینڈ انٹل بوتھ دی ایٹمز دے ہیو سیم الیکٹرو نگیٹیوٹی بٹ یوجولی ایسا ہوتا نہیں یوجولی جب ہم مالیکیولس کو اسٹڈی کرتے ہیں آرگینک کیمسٹری کو اسٹڈی کرتے ہیں یا ادر برانچس آف کیمسٹری کو اسٹڈی کرتے ہیں یا میٹیریلس کو اسٹڈی کرتے ہیں وی سی دیٹ وی آلویز سی دی ایٹمز آف ڈفرنٹ الیکٹرو نگیٹیوٹی اس سے کیا ہوتا ہے دس باؤنڈیڈ پیئر دس وچ از شیئرڈ ان بٹوین دا ٹو اٹ ول بی مور ٹوڈز دی ایٹم وچ از ہائیلی الیکٹرو نگیٹیو فار ایگزامپل اف بی از ہائیلی الیکٹرو نگیٹیو then it gets delta negative partial negative charge that means a is highly if a is less electronegative compared to b then it is gets partial plus charge so that means this shear appears more towards the electronegative atom or element so, and then we know that this uh, then there's a dipole moment and the direction of this dipole moment is given by this so is bond mein is ڈائپول مومنٹ کی وجہ سے یا آئی شوڈ سے الیکٹرو نگیٹیوٹی ڈفرنس کی وجہ سے آئنک کریکٹر از دیئر پرزنٹ سو آل دی کوول اینڈ بانڈس دے ہیو سم آئنک کریکٹر دیٹ آئنک کریکٹر کتنا ہوگا وہ آئنک کریکٹر دیٹ کین بی کیلکولیٹ بائی ویریس میتھڈس لاسٹ کلاس میں ہم نے ڈسکس کیا تھا ڈائپول مومنٹ میتھڈ ٹوڈے ول ڈسکس ٹو امپورٹنٹ میتھڈس نمبر ون میتھڈ ول اسٹارٹ دیٹ از یور پالنگس میتھڈ or Pauling's equation. So with the help of Pauling equation or Pauling's method we can calculate the percentage of ionic character in a covalent bond. So it's very simple, it's not much complex, but there are always questions. So Pauling's what he said, he said We can calculate the percentage of ionic character uh, based on the electronegativity difference. So this method is purely based on electronegativity difference. Electronegativity difference. تو دو ایٹمز کے بیچ میں جو الیکٹرو نگیٹیوٹی ڈفرنس ہے اس کے بیس پہ وی کین کیلکولیٹ دی آئنی کریکٹر ان اے کوور اینڈ بانڈ ایز پر پالنگ سکویشن سمپلی بیسڈ آن دا ڈفرنس ان دی الیکٹرو نگیٹیوٹی تو ہی پرپوز ان اکویشن دیٹ از لائک پرسنٹیج آف آئنی کریکٹر از گیون بائی Electronegativity is designated by this chi. For example, for atom A, it is chi A, electronegativity of A minus electronegativity of B. There are two atoms in the middle of the bond. The atoms are A and B. So accordingly, for example, if it is hydrogen fluoride, H and F. If it is carbonyl, C and O. So it is chi C, chi O. So accordingly, this difference in the electronegativity uh, we can write it multiplied by 18 so only as per different experiments 18 into this or raise the power 1.4 now this equation this is called as the uh, Pauling's equation of the electronegativity Uh, calculation of ionic character in, in a bond that is 
what you have to do is you have to take the 18 number 18 and then multiply that by difference in the electronegativities <clears throat> so you they've used the different electronegativities and then 1.4 times means it's close to 2 means uh, so you have to do it as per 1.4 factor so this is the in general the Pauling's equation for the calculation of the uh, percentage of ionic character in a covalent bond now he has designated a table, a table hai. so we need not to worry about equation also so what we can do as per the table what he has done he has you know made a table where we has he has kept many electronegativity difference of atoms for example chi a chi b this represents difference in the electronegativity and then corresponding to that the percentage of ionic character hai, that also he has measured so i will write down the table this one point so we we'll write down the table of that electronegativity difference so as per the Pauling so if the electronegativity difference between the atoms is 0 0.6 then you have to easily say ionic character is 9 simply need not to worry about the method you know this equation and the values likely if the electronegativity difference is 1 or 1.0 the percentage of ionic character is 22 if the electronegativity difference is 1.4 Percentage of ionic character is 50, sorry, 39. So, our electronegativity difference two atoms get 1.4, it is 39. So, if the electronegativity difference between the two atoms is 1.7, then a bond is 50% ionic that means it is 50% covalent to koi bhi bond 50% covalent tabhi hota hai when the electronegativity difference between the two atoms is 1.7 so this is important i have marked here this one uh, so likely if the electronegativity difference is 2 the percentage of ionic character is 63% if the electronegativity difference is 2.4, percentage of ionic character is 76. And if the electronegativity difference is 3, which is very much extreme cases, and it is 89% covalent. That means if it's 89% covalent, that means, sorry, if it's 89% ionic in character, the covalent covalency or covalent character is 11%. So, we will minus minus 106 that will give us the covalent character. Now, this important data ye hai. we have to remember usually question is if the electronegativity difference between the atom is 1.7, we have to remember this number. So, that means we should say it is 50% covalent, 50% ionic. If it is less than 1.7, so the bond is less than you know 50% ionic. If it is greater than 1.7 in the electronegativity difference, the bond is uh, more more than 50 percent ionic so this is all about the equation and the table he proposed I say ye jo equation humne pe hai, you will see it in this form also sometimes percentage of ionic character as per the Pauling's method is given by 1 minus ye bas converted as me exponential of minus 1 by 4 chi a minus chi b that is electronegativity difference between the two so you can see it by this form also and you can see it by this form also sometimes i see you know to make the student get confused the question comes like this also so either this form percentage of ionic character is given by this so this is all about the Pauling equation now second one we have we'll finish this today that is second method 
calculate the percentage of ionic character in a covalent bond that is Hamini and Summit equation. Summit equation. The second method to calculate the percentage of ionic character in a covalent bond. Second method. Hamni and Summit equation. Now, as per this equation, only be same. Uh, he has also used the same uh, criteria that is the electronegativity difference. So this scale, or uh, this equation is also based on the electronegativity difference. Electronegativity difference. So this is also based on the electronegativity difference of atoms. Two atoms in which there is bond. Hai, if you want to know the percentage of ionic character in that particular bond, pe bhi, just check the electronegativity difference. So as per this Hani and Summit equation, percentage of ionic character is equivalent to 16 chi A minus chi B plus 3.5 chi A minus chi B whole square. So simple this is as uh, the first equation. But this is a little bit of a factor that I use. So the percentage of ionic character can be calculated by this method uh, using the electronegativity difference into account so percentage of ionic character is called 16 into difference in the electronegativity plus 3.5 into difference in the electronegativity square of that so you see you can also calculate the percentage of ionic character uh, of a covalent bond so dono mein results takriban same nikalte hain that's very important ki dono mein results bilkul close nikalte hain zyada utna difference nahi hai and and uh, jo calculations aapko milte hain they are approximate means they are quite close so they are approximate let us take some problem, numerical problem, to see our results. Uh, let us say we have, so the question is that, if we have a compound called as CCL4, carbon tetrachloride. Carbon tetrachloride, it's like methane structure, tetrahedral. It's like this. CL. Cl, Cl, and Cl. Now, if we char bonds A, J, C, that means if we calculate the ionic character of any uh, bond, that would be for all. So let's take one bond, C, C, L bond. We want to know the percentage of ionic character. So we have to check the electronegativity of chlorine and carbon. So the, the electronegativity difference for chlorine and carbon. Carbon is 2.5, electronegativity of carbon. I should say chi C. Likely for chi for chlorine, it is 3.0 because both are highly electronegative. Fluorine is the highest. Then we have chlorine, oxygen, carbon. They are highly electronegative elements in the periodic table. So the difference in this electronegativity is how much? That is 3.0 minus 2.5. That is your 0.5. And if you use this uh, Hamni and Smith equation, you can easily calculate it there. You can use the Hamni and Smith equation 16 into electronegativity difference, that's 0.5 plus 3.5. Into electronegativity difference square of that. So if you calculate this uh, whole stuff, so you will get around 8.87%. Let us 
test is with the scale which was proposed by Parling scale. So the difference in electronegativity is 0 0.5. This is a very important result. Hai. The 0.5 electronegativity difference means it is less than this or it is closer to this. It's 0 0.6. That means our percentage of ionic character nikalna chahe, that should be less than 9 or close to 9. Same is the case. Let us see the calculation we got. 8.87 close to 9. So that is both the scales are quite good. And they are approximate scales. So this is how we calculate the percentage of ionic character in a covalent bond based on the Pauling scale. Both are based on the electronegativity difference of the two atoms. As per this scale, it is 18 into chi A minus chi B raised to the power 1.4 or this exponential form. And as per Hamney and Sumit, it is 16 chi A minus chi B plus 3.5 chi A minus chi B whole square. The best way to do is to, is to remember the stable. If the electronegativity difference is 1.5, the bond is 50% ionic. Less than this, 1.7, the bond is less than 50% ionic. Greater than 1.7 electronegativity difference, the bond is more than 50% ionic and vice versa. So this is all about the percentage of ionic character. So that means almost we have finished our ionic, uh, the chemical bonding chapter. In that we have finished the ionic portion. Now we have the covalent bond in the next class. So this is all for the day.